Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude, I'm back. I'm gonna do a video to show you the books that I didn't get to show you on the last haul. But um, remember I showed the, the stack of the DC Universe uh, comic books, I'm gonna show you those, I got about 25 of them. And then I have um, some another short box over here that's full of books that I've been picking up and everything. And uh, hopefully I can get through all of them, we'll see. But um, I went to a site, I checked on YouTube for uh, the DC Universe books, just to hear, see some history of them. They're, it's pretty cool. Um, Comic Jabroni, he did some videos. He did one video called, it was a video series he talked about, talking about what the heck is. And he put uh, an ellipsis, like three dots, and he would go into whatever it was. And the first one he did was um, DC Universe uh, comic books, local comic books, to talk about those, where they came from, the history about them and everything. It was pretty cool. And I saw some other videos that he did as well, and uh, some other channels did videos on these books but I went to uh, he suggested to go through CBSI um, comicbookinvest.com and I went there I registered and they have a big list of all the different DC Universe books that um, were ever done and he talked about they're from night they started in 1992 to 1996 something like that somewhere right now those areas right there and you can uh, other channels talked about it as well but uh, all the different books that were created with the DC Universe logo. Here's the first one here that I have. But all the ones that were created with that logo are on that list. And people donated information and everything so they can make a comprehensive list of everything that's out. It, it may grow or it may just be, that's all it is. But I think they said somewhere around 600 books that DC printed. They're like reprints. And they put them, a lot of them were put in uh, like value packs that they sold in Walmarts or Toys R Us or... Um, grocery stores, I don't know, different, different pack, wherever they sold packs and stuff like that, they had them, uh, these in there, I guess they were getting rid of extra stock or something that they said, some of these, they did, they did the print for this, they printed it, some of them have stickers over top of the, I'm not sure if you pull the sticker off it, it'll be a USB-C car, bar, ISBN, uh, barcode or underneath it or not, I'm not sure, I'm still doing some research on it to find out a little information about it, but I thought that was cool. So it's like it like adds something to my hunting to look for these, not just special covers or something that I want to resell or just uh, different collections or something like that. But this is cool. So I'm going to see if I let me see if I can get through this. But like I said, I'll put it in the description below the uh, CBSI, a comic book invest dot com. And like I said, I registered on there and I'm going to see what, what all it uh, shows me. But it does have that list, though of information to show you all the different books that are this but let's start with these i'll show you this this is showcase number four or showcase 94 number three but i thought it was very cool information I'm like that's cool here's batman number 505 very cool batman number 507 and so like when i look at some of these things i remember night quest when it came out years ago and I'll go to Half Price Books or some bookstores and I'll see the big trade paperbacks. And I'm like, I didn't read the full story. I don't remember reading it all. So I want to get that. And it's usually all, all those are in black and white. I think I've seen some in color, if I remember correctly. But um, most of them are in black and white. And you can read the whole story. So just like Nightfall and all that stuff. Uh, here we got Nightquest the Crusade. Yeah, that's it. Detective Comics Batman number 672. Very cool. Then we have 674 Detective Comics. Then we have Flash, number 90. Here's 91. Ooh, this is cool. Green Lantern, number 50. Here's number 51 with Kyle Rayner. Or is it Reiner? That's cool. Then we have Showcase 94, number 5 with Huntress. And Justice League International, number 62. And this was Justice League America, number 86. And Justice League America, number 88. It's really cool to see it. They printed up, I think it was about 600 books, somewhere around that area of all this. They put them in different packs and put them out. Not all, and I read like the article, it said not all of them in the packs had were full of them. Some of them didn't hardly have any of them in there. But um, if you saw it on the front, like when you looked at the pack and saw it, you at least had that book. But some of them just had, just had that book in it and that was it. Some of them, if you like, you, I guess you turn the pack over, you can see it had a DC Universe logo in there. That may have been just those two and that's it. 
but it's just, like I said, it's the thrill of the hunt. You go out, and I've done that when I went to Ollie's. I find the books. Oh, I like that book. And, you know, you try to look through the paper or look through the plastic and try to pull the book apart without tearing it up and see if they got any other cool stuff in there. I found some really cool books in those. But here we go with um, Legionnaires number 12. <clears throat> you got a dry voice or something like that. It's a little warm in here. <laughs> here we go, Robin number 4. And Robin number 6. And I read, I think, what they were talking about on one of the channels and on this on the site that I guess Robin number 15 is a rare one. Some of them are more rare than others. They print it up more. And some of them, and I guess, I guess they have, one of the channels talked about, uh, they have like 598, 599, and then 600 they didn't do, and then they go 601 with the DC Universe logo. So I guess wherever they needed to do, that's what they did. And I'm not sure if they knew they were creating rarity, rarities, but it's cool though. Here we go, steel number four. And this is this one's really yellow. But I love white covers like this. But this one's uh Superboy number two. You can see it's really yellow. But it's still cool though. Then we got Supergirls number two. Very cool. Here we go, Action Comics Superman number 697. We got Action Comics uh, Superman number 699 and Superman number 87. Uh, here's the Adventures of Superman number 510 with Bizarro. Then we got the Man of Steel Superman number 31. And then here's the last one. It's an annual number three, the Man of Steel Superman. Very cool. Okay, now we got, uh, I'll just try to get this box in here, see how many I can show you. And then I got, I got a lot of these. I was like, wow. You know, you, you go to the store, I said it before, you go to the store and you, and you start buying them and you put them, in a, put them in a stack at home before you look at them. And you go out the next day or a couple of days and you buy another stack and you put them in there or you order online. I've seen videos where guys say, look at all this stuff that I ordered. Let's, let's open it up. <laughs> they got books they've been sitting on for months sometimes. And they just, they're doing other stuff and they don't, they don't open them. So I like stuff like that when you see just a big list of books that people get and stuff. Let's see what we can do here though. In just a second. Okay, I'm back. Oh, here we go. I had to put, get the books and everything all uh together and said because i was looking through these things and I'm, I'm like wow i can't believe all the different books i got i'm like what are you doing but i know everybody everybody that collects knows that so oh uh, here we go i got this because i just like the cover it's like a cover grab action comics number 857 <laughs> look at that that's pretty cool eric powell that is awesome and this one alice cooper chaos this is number three. Very cool. And these, because I, I like the character. I made up a character like this called, it was a story called Agent, Agents of a Anarchy. And I designed characters and designed suits and everything like that. And then I see this coming out. This is Anarchy number four from DC Comics. This is a cool looking character. I can see, I'm going to see what he, about it. And I don't. I remember looking at the store years ago. And I said, I want to look at it again to see exactly who he is. And Roy Foigel, uh one of my favorite artists. This is number six. This one I got because I like collecting the Hanna Barbera um, DC crossovers. This is Aquaman Jabberjaw number one. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I used to love that cartoon. Oh, my sister and I will watch it all the time. Here's Araya Blanc. Is it Blanc and Noir? Uh, this is number one. This is the black and white version. I guess all the artwork inside is black and white. I've seen some other ones, so when I saw it, I just grabbed it. I, I think I did open it up, so it is, it is black and white, but um, I put it in new bags and boards when I grabbed them. So once I got them and get the old ones away. This is um. This is number, that one's from, I think, I'm not sure if this is the same story or not. I don't. I didn't check that. But I gotta look, this is number one as well. So, I just like love the cover, I, and I love the black and white stuff. So, and here's Araya sketchbook number one. This is cool. And here's another one, this is Blanc and Noir, 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 number two. 
that one. And this story, I didn't, this wasn't too bad. The uh, Twilight story, I didn't get first printings or anything like that. Maybe I, if I want to get them, I, I'll look for them. But it, maybe I'll find them at Half Price Books. But here's a, second, a third printing of number one. It wasn't too bad. I liked the story. This is number two. This is third printing. These Alex Ross covers are awesome. There's number uh, three, second printing. And I got, when I went to the comic book store, Pack Rat, I grabbed, this is number four uh, of Twilight. And this is number five. I'm going to try to get them all because they just love the covers and everything. And I got a Bart Simpson, number 98. <laughs> Silly. And I got Batman, number 40, from the New 52. Then here's uh, the Batman Adventures, number 20. Very cool. I love these. I love the cartoon and everything. This is uh, one and two of Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, two, the second story that they did. That's one. The artwork's awesome, and two. And I love the cartoon. On I got it. I bought it off of Voodoo. Here's Battle Cats number two. Very interesting. Number three. And here's number four. And this one, I got a signed version of one of these. I think it might be number one. Adam Hughes signed the cover. And I got that at Half Price Books. I was surprised when I saw it. I'm like, that's a signed cover. I said, I'm going to grab that one. Special origin issue of Beautiful Killer. This is number two. You had to pick this one up. This is Black Canary Wedding Planner number one. If you like stuff like that. Then this one, what do you think about Blood Hunt? I was going to try to get all the crossovers. Like I said, I picked up everything from Nall, the, the story with, with him in it and everything. And I was kind of disappointed how they ended it. But the story leading through it was good. I like that. This one, the first story was good. And I got the um, preview issue as well for a free comic book day. I, I got a subscription on the Marvel Universe thing so I could read all the books. And I read that because I wasn't able to get the actual book. But this is Blood Hunt number one, the uh, Blade version, the negative one. And I got two book. I got two copies of this. The uh, this was the better copy. The other copy was uh, the bottom staple was coming out, and it had some spots on it. I'm like, ah, I got them from Midtown Comics. So I'm like, man, but still, I got one. Here's Brute Force number two. I never saw this one before, so I said, cool, grab it. Then this one's a trade paperback or graphic novel. Second Second Genesis, a selection of stories starring the Day Springer. This is Cable. I see that. Then we got Captain Planet and the Planeteers. Heart attack. <laughs> this is number three. Then we have Cops, number nine. Some of these I didn't have, so when I see, I'm trying to get a whole set of Cops. And I'll, if I see them, I'll grab them. And this is an interesting story here. Dark, Dark Arc. Colin Bunn, he's, I like his writing. This is uh, number one. And then we got number two. And number three. And, no, that was number four. Number four. And here's number five. I like to try to get it and read it and see what it's like. And this one's cool. I like uh, Lisner artwork. Dawn, Three Tears is number one. It's a one of six storyline. This was cool too because this is like a parody of uh, Captain Marvel. This is Deceased Dead Planet number six with Mary Marvel. Like when Captain Marvel did that pose for like in the movie. Movie poster. Then we have The Dark Side War. Justice League The Dark Side War. Lex Luthor number one. Then we have Detective Comics number 1005. Cool cover. This is interesting. Um, Tokyo Pop manga. Number one, Dragon Knights. Very interesting. Then these, I wanted to do a flip through these. Eventually I'll get to it. I did one. I want to do more of them because somebody asked me years ago to do it. So hopefully I can get to it because I, like I said, you sit there and plan all this different stuff and then you get off distracted. So here's number Dragon, Dragon Ring number four. That one. And here's number five. The first story was pretty interesting, too. I was surprised. Here's Emma Frost, number 14. 
And here's Eternals. I always grab these. I like these. Eternals number uh, one. Alex Ross cover. Then we got, I grab these two uh, when I can get them. Excalibur number 71 with the uh, hologram card on it. Really cool. So, let me make sure. Try to stack them so they don't get all thrown all over the place. Here we got Excellence. This is supposed to be an option for a movie, I thought. Excellence number one. And here's Fantastic Four, The Lost Adventure by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. A little thicker. And we got Firepower, which is a great story. I, think I just got the, uh, the last book. I think this is the last one. Uh, this is Firepower number 23. Here's uh, 24. And here's 30. I think this is the last issue. It's a little, a little thicker on there. But here's 30. That's cool. That books are falling forward. Now we got... I collect these too. Flash number zero. I thought that was cool. Then Geiger. I'm, I'm, I want to read this story too. This is Geiger number one. That's cool. And Ghost Machine number one. It, I guess it has all the characters. Red Coat, Geiger, or Geiger, and um, I forgot the other the name of this character. But um, yeah, it, it, on the first cover, it's got a, a man in there, but this is a woman, so. It looks pretty interesting, so I grab it, and it's pretty thick, so I'm going to enjoy reading that one. Then I got Sirens, Gotham City Sirens, number 21. I think it was Rook, R-O-O-K, uh, for that one character I was talking about, and Geiger, with um, Red Redcoat. Redcoat's interesting, too, but this is uh, Gotham City Sirens, number uh, 21. And we have Stan Lee's, just imagine Stan Lee's Green Lantern. That's cool. Then we got Hawkeye, Blind Spot, number one of four. Hercules, number one, Prince of Power. This one I've been looking for for a while. I got the Reap or I got the uh, cover B with Captain America on it, but this is Immortal Hulk number eleven. But I had cover B. This is I finally found this one at Half Price Books. These are really cool, number eleven. And I, I'd like to be able to go on and buy every single one that Alex signed, but they're he, all of his books are fifty bucks. 50 bucks each. I'm like, ah, imagine buying that, how much money you spend. I mean, so it's like you got to pick choice issues if you want them. But then I know some people, they order the, um, they get the slab books. They'll have a whole run. I've seen, I saw somebody on Facebook, they had a whole run, all 9.8s of one run of, of a book. And it was like 50 books or something. I'm like, wow, that's got to be some money in there. But if that's what you do, that's what you do. So, but here we go. Here's 63 and 64 of Invincible. I don't think I had these, so I want to pick them up. Look at how beat up they are. Wow. And I was wondering about that. I said, I saw a video on YouTube about Superman versus, um, um, uh, what's, uh, Mark's father's name. I forgot his name. But, uh, they had him fighting to see, see who would win and everything. And Superman beat him because I was thinking, I said, I've never seen Superman that I know of get broken bones or anything because these guys fight each other and they bust each other up in blood and bones and ripping and tearing and everything but Superman never never seen him do that so they're really strong I guess pretty durable but they're not invulnerable so and you see like when Kryptonians fight they don't break and, and stuff like that but this one Robert Kirkman <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking but I'm like it was a great idea for visuals if you want to just have the, all the the blood and the gore. Because I was like, you got to be kidding. It was like, and the, he did Walking Dead, so I'm like, he's likes horror, obviously. When you see these guys fight, like when he was fighting, um, was it Battle Lion? Uh, that was who's the um, the guy that looks like Freddie Mercury? The, the I, I hate when I can't remember the names right off the top of my head, but Monarch or whatever his name is, um, the Viltrumite uh, King, whatever. When they were fighting, they tore each other up. Battle Beast. Wow. If you haven't seen that story in uh, Invincible, you got to check it out. I was like looking at it as I was reading and seeing the covers and the guy's eye is all cut and everything and hang out. I'm like, where do you come up with this? And Brian Otley drew that. It's like, wow. Just to get to uh, 
I guess looking at an anatomy books and stuff like that and seeing how the muscles and the bones and everything go so you can draw it all and then draw it broken. Oh, wow. Well, here we go with Infinity Incorporated number five. Very cool. You got Tony Stark Iron Man number 19 with a variant. It's just the 2020 armor, uh, 2020 Iron Man variant number 19. And I love Ed Bennis' artwork. Uh, this is... Um, Justice League of America, When Worlds Collide, number 28. These covers are always cool. Always grip this. Uh, Justice League, number 20. Battle of the Superman. And I love um, Alex Ross artwork, so this is cool. Justice, Justice, number 11. And number 12. Just beautiful artwork. This is cool, too. Um... Justice League 12, Dark, Justice League Dark number 12. Which Swamp Thing on there? Then these, and I, I didn't see this one when it uh, when it first came out, but I wanted to look at it. It said, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The, La the Last Ronin Lost Years. This was different. And we got Legend number two, Legends number two. I always liked the John Byrne artwork. I remember when that came out. Uh, this is Loki number three, love the cover. Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness, number two of five. And we got the Nam, number 22. I'm trying to get a complete, complete collection of that. And then we got Neon Future. And it's number it says number five on there. And then I looked on the back of it, somebody had that. So it says, from San Diego Comic-Con 2019, free from impact theory. And that was at a half price book, so I said, okay, grab it. New Mutants number 63. Love the cover. And I got Purgatory. This is Purgatory number six. Very cool. She's a pretty wide, wild character. And I got a few of these. This one's um Purgatory, and this is number two of the storyline, Empire. And here's number three, Empire Three of Purgatory. And this is, I like Mike Diodato artwork. He did a lot of work with these, this company and everything. So I said, Chaos Comics. So I said, I'm going to grab a lot of stuff with his artwork in it. Purgatory Goddess Rising. This is number two of four. Here's number three of four. And here's four of four. Very cool. And this one, I think this is a sketchbook or something like that, or it's a story. Purgatory Mischief, Mischief Night, number one. Came out 2000, November 2001. This is a, like a cosplay cover. Issue one, and it's Witches Get Stitches. <laughs> this is number one. And here, here we go with the uh, red coat character. This is number one, red coat. I wanted to grab that. And here's Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons Director's Cut Edition, number one. <laughs> and Dungeons and Dragons, uh, uh, Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons. This is number one, regular cover, I guess. I'm thinking, I think it is. And then we got uh, this is number two of that series. And here we go with number three. Look at Dungeon Master down there. <laughs> well, I got. Oh, I didn't realize I had two copies of it. And here's number four. Then I like this. I like always like the Scooby Doo, te Scooby Doo team up number thirty four with Birds of Prey. Awesome. Then we got Sergeant Fury number twenty, and the Howling Commandos and his Howling Commandos, seven doomed men. I like these older books like that. Then Shauna, She Devil, number six of seven. Then I found this one, Silk number one variant. Very cool. And I found another Simpsons, Simpsons Comics number 102. The Battle for the Barks Billions. Then we got. Okay, we got Simpsons Illustrated. It's mouth watering. Simpsons Illustrated number 16. And here's another one. Here's number 18. Then this is cool. Smallville Continuity. 
Season Lovin' continues, number one. This was Something's Killing the Trojan, number 16. Didn't have anything on the front. Thought that was cool. And Free Comic Book Day, Spider-Man. The Amazing Spider-Man. Then we got Spider-Man Unlimited, number 15. Love the cover with the rain and everything. Like a Daredevil type thing. Uh, David Mazzuccelli. The Spectacular Spider-Man, number two. Annihilation Conquest Star Lord. I wasn't sure if I had this one because I got a I got a bunch of them. I did a video of it, so I wanted to grab this one. And ones I wasn't sure about, I put them back, and I was going to look through everything. But this is number four or four of Star Lord because I wanted to read the story. Then we got um, Starman number sixty nine. Very cool. Dark Empire number two. One of six. Then we have Teen Titans versus JLA number six. Very cool. And Annual, the new Teen Titans, number one. That's cool. George Perez. I miss that guy. Great man. He was all he was always cool. Every time you met him, always cool and polite. The Trials of Shazam, number five of twelve. And I got all of them now because I found these at Half Price Books. So I got one through twelve. I'm gonna read it all. The Trials of Shazam, number seven of twelve. And there's number nine of twelve. Apollo's Creed. Cool. That name sounds familiar, doesn't it? Like from a movie. <laughs> Ultimate Spider-Man. I got the second printing. Very cool. And then Ultimate Spider-Man, number three. That was number two. This is number three. And this is first printing. I like the story so far. I've been reading that. It's really good. White Tiger. I love these covers. Two of six. Love David Mack artwork. I'd like to get him to sign that. Here's Uncanny X-Men number 247. Found some older stuff. Make sure I don't run out of time. Here's X Uncanny X-Men number 259. Down a couple books. And I like I said, I grabbed these hologram covers. Love them. X-Factor number 92. He's got Havoc hologram cover. Very cool. And then the last book I got to show you, X-Men Gold number one. I thought, well, Every time I find these, I buy these. I like them. It's the controversial covers and every other controversial stories and everything. So... Some of them I get enough, I'll have to give them away as giveaways. So, but that's it. I think that's it. I want to try to do a previews video. I haven't done one in a long time. So I like to go through the previews, see what's coming out, and give me an idea what I want to try to make sure I collect. Because if you don't go through it, you won't know what's coming out unless you have a pool list or something like that. But you, you go through that and you, you get a pool list so you can not miss those first printings of cool stories that are coming out. But, all right, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscri subscribe. You can share the video if you want to. You don't have to because I'm not sure. Like, I don't share a lot of videos. Certain ones I'll, I'll share. But um, I like and comment on a lot of stuff because there's so many cool videos that I see that are out that people do. They take the time to do them. And they're fun. So that's what I try to do with mine. But you guys have a great day. Um, great night. Great evening. Great morning. <laughs> great weekend. Great rest of the week. You got, uh, and other than that, I'm going to get ready. I got to go upstairs and help Janet with some stuff, and we're going to get something to eat. But you have a great uh, day, and Collectitude is out.